Hey everyone. This video is about the new HP 15C Collector's Edition, which is a modern reissue of the classic 15C from HP's Voyager series of calculators that was originally on the market from 1982 to 1989. And the Collector's Edition, or the CE, is a special a limited edition device that comes in the storage box uh, with an extension of the original owner's handbook and a protective case. And functionality wise, the CE is almost identical to the original, but it is dramatically faster and includes 50% more memory. Uh, but it does support some interesting hidden features. Now, the CE isn't the first reissue of the original 15C aimed at collectors. I also have a separate video on the 15C Limited Edition, or the LE, which was released in September of 2011. But if you've watched that video, you'll know that this, the LE had a few annoying quality issues and bugs, which have all been fixed in this release. And the story behind the development of the CE is interesting because although the CE is branded HP, that brand is now licensed by two of HP's former calculator distributors, Moravia Consulting, which base, is based in the Czech Republic, and Royal Consumer Information Products, which is based in the US. And the collector's edition was produced by Moravia with help from some long-term members of the HP Museum Forum site. And it's just the latest in a long history of collaborations between HP's calculator brand and its enthusiast community. Let's start with a quick unboxing video. So uh, the storage box is very much part of the product. It's obviously got a display window at the front. Uh, on the back, we can see some information about the product. Uh, all of the CEs are made in the Philippines. Now inside that outer storage box is a rigid display box with the snakeskin style laminate coating. And if we open this, uh, we can access the calculator itself. Underneath there's a thank you card with a QR code for signing up to uh, the newsletter. Uh, and underneath that we can see uh, the compartment for the leather style protective case. At the bottom of the box is the owner's handbook, which is an extension of the original HP 15C manual. And although this owner's handbook is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, it's a great part of the package. Uh, we can see some acknowledgements uh, to some familiar names in the HP community who helped with the project. And then there's an interesting and well-written history of HP calculators written by uh, Will Odeck and Jean Wright. Uh, and after this is uh, the content from the original manual. Uh, and by the way, this owner's handbook is available online and I'll link to, uh, to it from the video description. So physically, the CE is very similar to the original 15C here. Some of the more obvious differences are the uh, yellow labels on the keyboard uh, seem higher contrast. Uh, we can also see this collector's edition uh, labels written in script under the 15C logo. And there's no longer an H uh, Hewlett Packard logo uh, below the keyboard, which is also a change you'll see if you buy a new um, HP 12C financial calculator. And this just reflects the change in ownership of the HP calculator brand. Uh, the display is also very similar, one subtle difference uh, being that the contrast on the CE can be adjusted. Uh, the keyboards are also very similar, with almost identical beveled keys and labels. Uh, the CE's keys feel a little bit more clicky uh, than the originals, uh, which some uh, will prefer and some um, will not. Uh, but the enter key on uh, the CE is uh, hands down better. Uh, the enter key on the original uh, Pioneers is often mushy uh, like on this one. And uh, the blue and orange shift keys on the collector's edition don't wobble as much as they did on the previous uh, limited edition. And looking at the backs of the calculators now, we can see the most obvious differences are that the C has uh, the reference info um, attached as a sticker on the back, whereas the original, uh, the, that info was printed on the case itself. 
Uh, you can also see this larger screw down battery compartment. The screw is mandated now in some countries and we can see that the serial number is on the bottom right of the CE where the, whereas it was on the top edge of the original. So if we take off the battery covers inside we can see the uh, collector's edition uses two CR2032s providing six volts of power whereas the original used uh, three LR44s providing 4.5 volts. And the C uses an ARM Cortex M4 microcontroller that emulates that original uh, NUT processor. And so it does need more power when running at full speed. But for normal usage, the C operates in low power mode and only switches to full power when running uh, programs. And by the way, uh, the CE comes with its batteries pre-installed, so even though lithium cells are less prone to leaking than alkaline batteries, it's worth considering taking them out if you intend to store the uh, CE for many years in its dip box. And you'll notice the CE also has uh, this programming port, so it may be possible in the future uh, to update its firmware. So the main difference you'll notice using the CE is the increased speed over the original. So even when running in low power mode, regular operations like say sign are uh, instantaneous on the CE, whereas on the original uh, there's a noticeable delay. And the speed difference is even more pronounced when a program is run. So here's an example of a program that calculates the height of an object <clears throat> that falls from 100 meters using this full distance equation. And I've entered a keystroke program on both of the calculators uh, to calculate this formula. Uh, so for example, if we enter zero seconds and run the program, uh, the object's still at 100 meters. Uh, but after one second it's uh, dropped 4.9 meters and so on. And so let's use the solve function now to find the root of the equation, which is the number of seconds the object takes to uh, reach height zero. And on the 15C, the way you run the solver is you enter a low and high guess on the stack. Uh, so let's enter zero and 10 <clears throat> on both calculators. Uh, and then hit the solve button and uh, I will enter our label uh, simultaneously on both. Yeah, so the C has uh, returned immediately and the original takes about 10 seconds. And for uh, an in queen solution program, the C is about 186 times faster than uh, the original and also 5 to 10 percent faster than the LE. So the performance difference is even more noticeable when running programs. Uh, yeah, although you have to be aware that the CE is using full power so it will drain your batteries likely faster than the original. So functionality wise the biggest difference in <clears throat> normal operating mode is that the CE has 50% more memory registers so this means we can store more data, larger programs and larger matrices and it might be useful to understand how memory is managed on the 15C. Um, registers are 7 bytes each and divided into two sections with a movable boundary so there's a data storage pool and then there's a common pool which is used for uh, matrix elements, uh, the complex stack and program memory. And I've reset both of these calculators and set that movable boundary up to register one to maximize the common pool. So for example, if we hit mem on the uh, original, we can see the 64 registers in that pool. Uh, so for example, we can therefore allocate an eight by eight matrix. I uh, use it by putting 8 uh, in the X and Y registers uh, and then hitting dim A. Uh, but uh, that's going to use up the whole common pool. Uh, and notice if we try that with 9 by 9, uh, we'll get an error. Uh, whereas on the CE, uh, we can see there's 96 uh, registers in the common pool. And uh, we can successfully allocate that uh, 9 by 9 matrix. And so a 50% more memory is 
uh, a useful bump on such a memory constrained device. But really the key differences in functionality with the original uh, are uh, the CE's hidden features that are not officially supported by the manufacturer. So because the CE uses a different hardware platform, it has a different test mode than the original. And the way that you access it is to turn the calculator off uh, and then hit the G uh, shift and enter and on. <clears throat> and now we're presented with a menu of three options. So option one is uh, the LCD test. <clears throat> option two is the checksum test that displays the firmware version uh, and a copyright notice. Uh, and option three is the keyboard test. But there's also a hidden option four, and this allows us to pick uh, special modes to run the calculator in. Uh, so here we've got uh, the 15CE mode that I've been demoing, but there's also a uh, so-called 15.2 mode and a 16C mode. So from the mode menu, let's uh, select 15.2 mode using the 1 over X key. And the only difference in this mode is that we now have access to 195 registers. So for example, if we hit the mem key, uh, we can see uh, that there are 192 uh, in the common pool. Uh, and uh, this display, by the way, doesn't have enough uh, space uh, to separate those numbers. Uh, but having that much in the pool, uh, we can actually allocate a 13 by 13 matrix. Uh, but with matrices, it's worth remembering that um, for those that have more than 64 elements, operations such as matrix inversion are not guaranteed to work. Uh, and 15.2 mode seems to be fairly stable, even though it's not uh, officially supported by the manufacturer. The second hidden mode is more experimental, and it's actually a beta version of the 16C, a special purpose programmer's calculator from HP's Voyager series that I have a separate video on. So to enter 16C mode from the test screen, we enter 4 and then 7. And it's obviously going to be difficult to use without a keyboard overlay since uh, the key labels are quite different. But just as a quick example, uh, we're in hex mode, so let's try multiplying uh, some hex numbers together. So uh, let's say ABC times ABC. And I'll just check that on the original. So that looks correct, but um, there are some bugs in 16C mode, however. For example, if we switch to decimal mode, um, it has, seems to have problems even with basic number entry. So if I enter 1, 5, 9, uh, I don't get what I'm expecting. Uh, so it's probably not going to be very useful to people, but it does serve as a great teaser of a potential future collector's version of the 16C. So in summary, the 15C Collector's Edition is a beautiful modern reissue of one of the great RPN scientific calculators. I think Moravia and uh, the others in the team have done a great job both fixing the bugs that were in the previous limited edition, uh, and they've also put together a great overall package uh, with a manual and so forth, and I think collectors will also appreciate the hidden features. Um, some people might comment, uh, the CE is not a true Hewlett Packard product, but I think Moravia producing this device is a really positive development and uh, I hope it does well commercially. It certainly seems to be very popular because it will likely mean more collector's edition models and I think a lot of people would love to see a 16C CE uh, and other Voyager models, uh, but there's even potential for reissues of Pioneer models such as the 42S and 27S, utilising a variant of the current HP 17B2 hardware platform. And so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and if you have, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to get alerted of new videos.